Once again, more code than I thought we would have. We added a dirty flag for the camera and we turned off the high level camera. Assert trinary, just make sure that a number is zero, negative one, or positive one. Here's where we're using that dirty flag inside of the pan function, just letting us know that VP1 needs to be updated. Here's a tick function for the camera called once per logic frame and only if the dirty flag is set and we are configured to use the high level camera. All we're going to do is take camera H's state and persist it into VP1. Keyboard master zoom is either going to do the low level camera controls for zooming out or zooming in or it's going to do the high level controls for zooming out and zooming in which we do not have yet. You'll notice that all of this code was cut and pasted from video number 93 and we just refactored it into this keyboard master zoom function. Keyboard master pan, we make sure that the direction vector here is trinary. And if we are using the low level camera, well, we haven't written that code yet, we'll have to write it. Otherwise, if we're using the high level camera, we will do the camera H pan function. Here's the keyboard master pan function called from the keyboard listener for the editor. Here is that big chunk of code that we cut and pasted into keyboard master zoom. It was in two different sections, one for zooming in and one for zooming out. Here's the tick function, which is being called within the high level tick function for the client game. It need, this one needs to be called before this one because Art Girl uses VP1 and Camera Tick updates VP1. VP1 being the off screen data viewport. This is what we did in the previous video. This is just some footnotes, and this is what we did in this video. You have been on this playlist right here. If you want me to go in more detail, you can go here. This has been video number 115. Like and subscribe.